Here's our Christmas goose. Today we're doing a Christmas goose. When I was a kid and get in trouble, my mother would say, you've cooked your goose now. Well, I don't know what I did or what I, punishment I was going to get, but that's what she always said. Anyway, today we're going to cook our Christmas goose. This is a wild bird I shot, a Canada goose. It's about eight pounds. You can obviously use a domestic one that you can buy at your store. The domestic ones are usually a little fattier, maybe a little bigger. Uh, they're a lot more tender because uh, they don't do nothing. These wild birds fly around and are a little tougher, so it's, sometimes they take a little longer to cook. We're going to stuff this bird with some garlic and some oranges. We're going to sew it up. Here's how it goes. We're going to stuff our goose. First I'm going to put some garlic in there. A full clove of garlic. Then I've got two oranges cut up. We're gonna stuff these oranges in there. This will make sure that it stays moist. Then we're gonna truss this up. Now we've got it trussed up, we're going to put it in the pan. I've got our pan, I lined it with tin foil just to make cleanup easier. And I've got a metal plate in the bottom to set the bird on. In she goes. We're going to leave it uncovered. We're going to put it at 500 degrees for 45 minutes. Then we're going to turn the heat down to 250 and cover it for about six hours. Well, here's our Christmas goose. We had it at 500 degrees for 45 minutes. I took it out and covered it with this tin foil. I left it in there. I dropped it down to 250 degrees for five and a half hours. Skin looks very crispy. Look at that. Break apart tender. That is just perfect. Couldn't be better. Christmas goose, tender as can be with wild rice. There's our Christmas goose. It came out perfect. 45 minutes at 500 degrees and no cover. Pulled it off, covered it, turned it down to 250 for five and a half hours. It's as tender as can be. Pinot Noir is always good too. Thanks for watching. Click the subscribe button for me. Have a Merry Christmas. See you next time.